We have been so brainwashed in this fast-paced society with instant gratification and hustle culture to the point that when we decide to move at our own pace, it feels like as if we are doing something wrong. We have normalized treating our body like garbage. You know how many people there are that I've heard talking like, Yo, I was grinding. I slept for four hours last night. People are proud about how sleep deprived they are. It's like treating your body like garbage has become the norm. People wear exhaustion to the point of getting burned out like a badge of honor. Oh, she's so hardworking. Oh, she really proved herself. Neglecting ourselves has become normalized. Attaching your self-worth to how many things you get done throughout the day or what type of accomplishments you have is something that's really dangerous because you will always be chasing. You will always be chasing after the next thing, thinking that that is going to help you feel good enough. And we live in this instant gratification society where everything needs to be quick. But if you think about it, you go to the gym. You go to the gym and if you want to build a six pack or biceps, there's no shortcut to that. There's literally no shortcut when it comes to exercise. There's no shortcut when it comes to creating better habits. We have been so brainwashed in this fast-paced society with instant gratification and hustle culture to the point that when we decide to move at our own pace, it feels like as if we are doing something wrong. That's the crazy part. It shouldn't feel like that. It should be our norm. We should normalize moving at our own pace and being unapologetic about that and being comfortable with that and acknowledging the fact that these are my rules, these are my values, and this is my journey. I'm going to embrace that. But instead, people are repeating this hamster wheel of hustle culture or they're feeling this pressure to wanting to prove themselves and their self-worth through their career. And that's where the problem lies. No wonder why it keeps you in this hamster wheel of hustle culture. And I was also thinking about how in this fast-paced society and social media and the instant gratification, oh, I achieved this in three months. Oh, I did this in one month. Oh, I achieved this in seven days. It's like, like, bro, no wonder why people are feeling so pressured. These things are actually impacting you subliminally. So it's like subconsciously. And you don't even realize it because you scroll through social media and you see things. And it's like subliminally you are being brainwashed to act in a certain way, to live in a certain way to want things that you don't even want. <laughs> to want things that you don't even want. And feeling pressure about things that you genuinely don't feel pressured about. But it's just the fact that because society's expectations or other people's expectation is making you feel that way, that is the reason why you feel pressured about certain things. But in actuality, you wouldn't feel pressured about those things that you are pressuring about. But that's a lot of pressure word in one sentence, but whatever. I hope you understand the point that I'm trying to get across. The reason why people are afraid or feel ashamed of moving at their own pace is due to the fear of judgment. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to be looked down upon as like, oh, this person is kind of moving slow and... Second of all, it's going to be difficult if you are going to judge yourself about the way that you are moving in your life, at the pace of which you are moving in your life. I feel like that's the reason why people feel kind of ashamed sometimes and bad about moving at their own pace. I give myself the permission to move at my own pace unapologetically 
and let nobody tell me how I should be moving in my own life because this is my life. And I get to choose the pace that I am moving in my life. Moving at my own pace has helped me to connect with my own values. Why was I feeling pressure to engage in the hustle culture? And it made me reflect about my own values and, and what I stand for and what do I value in life and how is it that I want to move through life and what success means to me. That was a really big thing. I realized how my definition of success is different than I thought. If you do not know your definition of success, you're going to be swayed by other people's definition of success. Which is why a lot of people feel pressure to engage in hustle culture because they don't know their own definition of success. And even if you do know your own definition of success or how is it that you want to live or how you want to move through your own life, I'm asking you, are you embracing that unapologetically, your own values? And that is what happens to a lot of people. They get swayed by other people's definition of success. If you really embrace your own values and how is it that you want to move through your own life, the pace, unapologetically, you are not going to give an F about wanting to prove yourself to anyone because you know the fact that you don't need to prove yourself to anyone, any Embracing, moving at my own pace and accepting and embracing my own values and my definition of success has made me move through life in a much more peaceful way with less stress. I'm not going to sacrifice my health and burning out and treating my body like like I'm not going to do that. And that's one of my value is the fact that I will always take care of my health. I have once a week rest day or twice a week rest day. Sometimes if I'm feeling like, wow, my body really needs rest and it's twice a week. If you join with like-minded people that have the same values as you and moves at their own pace, just like you, people that takes care of their bodies and rest unapologetically, you're you're going to feel like as if you're starting to fully embody in your mind, body, and soul that this is who I am and I'm going to embrace this. You are the five people you surround yourself with. So look around who you're hanging out with. If there are people that pressure you or make you feel like you should feel bad about yourself, for moving moving at your own pace. Maybe you can do something about it or maybe you should do something about it. I don't know your situation. Just figure that out for yourself because social media is so in our face and we live in a hustle culture society, fast paced society, fast fashion, Everything is instant gratification. It really is in our face. Sometimes it felt really hard for me to disconnect from it truly. However, every single time I went out in nature, I felt this peace. I felt this peace that nature is the representation of who we are. And how we should live our life. And every single time I connect with nature, I feel like more myself. I feel like I'm connected to my values and I'm living in accordance to them. And I embrace who I am. It's like nature reminds me the power of embracing my journey, being in the present moment and moving at my own pace. Every time I spend time in solitude and in nature, 
It's like I drown out all these expectations, voices, noises of the hustle bustle culture. And it's just me and my intuition and my life. Nothing else. It's just me and my life. And this place of quietness and solitude has really helped me to be able to move at my own pace. And also being really unapologetic about it, that comes from me embracing and accepting and loving myself and giving myself the permission to do that, as well as not attaching my self-worth to external factors such as achievements or what I was able to get done today or any kind of external factors, whatever it might be. Me not wanting to prove myself to anyone else because I don't have anything to prove to anyone else. But if you have this in your subconscious mind, you may feel like you're subconsciously a bit drawn towards doing things that perpetuate this belief that I have to prove myself to other people because of this belief that you have in your subconscious mind, which perpetuate the cycle of you needing to prove yourself to other people. Moving at your own pace really is an act of rebellion in this fast-paced hustle culture society that's full of instant gratification that benefits and profits off of you engaging in hustle culture.